special day because we are going to talk about electricity. Have a look to this video, please. Where does electricity come from, RT? Electricity comes from a power plant. Did you know that computers need electricity? Electricity. Electricity is a form of energy. Okay. Now it's time to check the vocabulary. Do you know the game memory? Yes. So, Ricardo, have you got fun? No, I haven't. Have you got a microwave oven? Yes, I have. What do we use electricity for? Washing machine. Drill. Radio. Duster. Fridge. Stove. Communication, power and motion. Uh, light and heating and cooling. How much does this consume? One thousand four hundred three hundred watt. One hundred and fifty watt. I think twenty five. How much electricity? Do we consume at home? This is We have to calculate the daily consumption and the monthly consumption. And sometimes we waste a lot of uh, electricity. This is a good game. Don't switch off the light when you leave a room. <laughs> so, I have to change all of this with this. What do you think? What can you find there? Waterfalls. Mountains. Yeah. You learn to draw a natural landscape. Look at the video. The fields, the fields. A different kind of vegetation. What is it? What is the name of the shapes? What is it? Sailor! What is it? Triangle! Okay, now with your shapes make a drawing. What can we do to protect the egg? Eh? Plastic bags, balloons, straws, sticks, strings, 
sticky tape. Rubber bands. It is your head. You have to save it. Pay attention. Where is all? Where is under? Between. Where is in? The constructive phase is starting now. the straw on the egg. I tie up a stick. I blow a balloon. One, two, three, go! Oh, the egg is broken! Oh, no! no! Leonardo, what have you done to protect the egg? We tie up the rubber bands and the balloon. We save the egg! We save Today, we'll be discussing the base, the collector, and the emitter. Now, can you lead me to the components that I will be using for such lab? Can you mention them? What kind of tools we need? We need the breadboard, the side cutter to cut the wire. This is a multimeter. What tool do I need to remove the insulation? And the wire stripper. Like some resistors, okay. So we're gonna work two together. Two resistors here, uh, 56 kilo ohm, which is color red, blue, and orange. As we are taught, the middle one is the base, and on the right uh, right side is the emitter, and here is collector. So the longer leg will be a plus and the shorter leg will be minus. When you connect the circuit and you observe that the light emitting diode is on, you draw a circle around the S. Now, we also have the emitter. The emitter is connected to what? The to the ground. The ground will be here. Later. The circuit's not working. Oh, can you try this one? Try out the circuit now. Oh. Good, it's working. Yes, yes, yes. we made it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So today we looked at how we can connect the transistor as a closed switch. Okay? Next time we will be looking at how to connect the transistor as an open switch. Okay, today we're going to be organising a meeting. Think about what type of things you need to organise for this meeting. The place. The place. <laughs> Refreshments. Information technology. So you need Wi-Fi wi maybe. Yeah. Here you have a sheet that gives you some instructions about organising the meeting. I want you to do some of these activities with your partner to organise the meeting for your boss. So, what do you need to do? Let's see what they come up with. We need a preposition. 
Silver Moon Hotel here at Onne, can I help you? I want to do a um, meeting. And we would like to have a refreshment. Yes, of course. You will uh, use our catering service or you have yourself? Right, now we're going to talk about phone calls at work and or what type of telephone calls you can receive at work. Have an appointment? Yep, to make an appointment. To complain about something. Now, what type of language do you use when you make these phone calls? Can you give me an example of some formal telephone phrases? Uh, good morning or good afternoon. How can I help you? Can I take a message? Could you spell it for me, please? Now, what we're talking about is appropriate and inappropriate phone language. You have six phrases. You need to match the appropriate phrase with the inappropriate phrase. I ask, who is calling? So practice with your partner now. Okay. Practice being very rude and very polite. Gosh, that is a funny name. Can you spell it, please? Would you spell your name for me? Her line is busy. Can you go back? I'm afraid her line is busy. Would you mind holding? We're going to look at domotics. Have you heard of this word before? Offer a definition or start with some key words. Automation. Increase security. Intelligent system. So now we're going to watch a small clip and you're going to come up with a definition of what domotics is. Let's see if they know what it means now. I'd like you to come up with one sentence. Domotic is a new technology. It is centralized control for human automation. Lighting control, ventilation. To become a slave of technology. OK, let's learn some more details about domotics. Now, read the text, check any words you don't know, and then do the exercises at the end. Can I? I'm going to divide you into groups now. One group would work on designing a house for safety and security, another group for energy saving. And you would have to look at different issues relating to the house. Let's see how creative they are. We design home for elderly people. In the hall, we put a handrail for support. In the corridor, there is motion activated lighting. We put remote control for the light, TV and window control. In the bedroom, there are lighting heating systems. 